20 plus reasons why you may get a check engine light. As you know, when you get a check engine light, it means something bad happened to your car, engine, transmission, you did something wrong, there's an error or a malfunction. And at the end, I will tell you the, the most frequent times or ways or things that can trigger a check engine light. In case you want to get engine oil or whatever you like from Amazon, you have some links in the video description, which helps me uh, maintain this channel. So thank you. One reason is the turbocharger. You may have low pressure or a pressure which is too high or anything that is related to a turbocharger. You may have lost compression because you have a very worn out engine with pistons like this one. It has the skirts torn out. Uh, it's really, really bad. Uh, it has carbon deposit buildups and you may have a loss of compression and it may uh, lead to a improper function of the engine and it may lead to a check engine light. If you have bad spark plugs, you may also experience a check engine light. Fuel injectors get clogged over time. You may get rust because sometimes there's a small amount of water within your fuel and it may lead to improper function and it may trigger a check engine light. Speaking of fuel, if you use the wrong fuel, the wrong quality, maybe you have a engine which requires a poor quality, a lower cetane number for diesel or a lower octane number for gasoline. There are some specific cars which, which tell you you have on the gas cap, do not use this, use only this. If you use the wrong fuel, you may get a check engine light. Also, if your car requires premium fuel and you use regular, which generally has an inferior octane number, you may experience engine knocking and knocking can lead to a check engine light. Camshaft position sensor. There is a sensor or even more sensors uh, which tell the ECU in what position is the camshaft. That sensor may break, the car may be old, or there's a problem with the wiring. And if that sensor gets damaged, or if the ECU can't read the values from that sensor, you will not only get a check engine light, but you won't be able to start the engine. It will start and it will stop by itself because the ECU does not know the exact, the exact position of the camshaft. A bad transmission can also lead to a check engine light. Well, this is not a transmission, obviously. It's a torque converter, which is part of an automatic transmission. And I've run out of physical components to show you. Also, another reason for getting a check light is having damaged or poor coils. Coils are one of the most frequent uh, reasons why you get a check engine light. A problem that I have experienced myself on a brand new car, brand new car, an Audi. Because it has digital, a digital instrument cluster, from time to time, it loses the connectivity with the ECU. And I got a check engine light at only 3000 kilometers on board. So it's a brand new car. According to the EU, if a car has less than 6,000 kilometers or six months, it's still a brand new car. This happened before the car aged to six months and before hitting the 6,000 kilometer milestone. Brand new car, check engine, cool. Another frequent reason is the diesel particulate filter, which may get clogged even if you have only a small amount of kilometers, but you only drive around town. You don't allow it to fully regenerate, to burn all that soot from uh, the DPF. And over time, it gets really, really clogged and it starts to create problems. If it gets too clogged, it becomes 
essentially like a cork. The DPF becomes a cork itself on the exhaust. The exhaust gases cannot go out uh, as they should. And this will backfire to the turbo, causing back pressure, and you, you can also experience turbo failure. Oil leaks and so on, because the DPF gets clogged. So if your DPF is clogged, you didn't do a full DPF regeneration, you did not allow it to finish on time, and you only drive around town, you, this can trigger a check engine fault light. Also, I talked about the camshaft position sensor. We also have a crankshaft position sensor. Uh, if the ECU cannot see the exact position of the crankshaft, you cannot start the car. It will start and stop if it starts. And you will get a check engine fault light. If you are running on very low oil, your oil level is below minimum, you will get a warning and maybe a check engine light. Also, if you have very low oil pressure, this is quite dangerous because you can blow the engine. It can block, essentially. This piston over here is from a dead engine, a blown engine. This piston is brand new. Well, it's from a different engine. This is from a, a Volkswagen 2.5 TDI turbo diesel. Uh, the R5 engine with five cylinders, original part. This is an aftermarket part for a Volkswagen Golf with a 1.9 diesel engine. If you are using the wrong oil, maybe your car requires, your engine requires 5W20 or 0W20 and you put 10W40. Engine oil pressure will increase, it may not work properly, it may overheat, and you might get a check engine fault light. If you have a manifold absolute pressure sensor, which is faulty, a MAP sensor, you will also get a check engine fault light. Also, if you have a MUF sensor, uh, the air which comes to the engine, there's a sensor which weighs how much air in grams comes to your engine. So it can adjust the amount of fuel that it needs to be delivered to the cylinders in order to have a perfect ignition, perfect combustion. If any of these sensors, important sensors for engine management gets damaged, doesn't work, has electrical malfunctions, the ECU cannot read values and it cannot make decisions. So you will get a check engine fault light. Also, if you leave the fuel cap loose or you, if you put too much fuel into your fuel tank, like overfill, you may get a check engine fault light. In fact, some cars specific this, they write this specifically on the gas cap, do not overfill. If you do, you might get a check engine fault light. And one of the most common reasons why you can get a check engine fault light is if you have faulty oxygen sensors or lambda sensors, we call it. The oxygen sensors, usually we, you have at least two. You can have four. You have one before the catalytic converter, you have the catalytic converter, and then you have another one. Basically, there's one which measures the oxygen before the catalytic converter and one afterwards to see how things work out within the catalytic converter. If one of these sensors gets clogged, damaged, the wiring has issues, you may get a check engine fault light. And this one is actually very, very frequent. Also, if you have problems with the exhaust gas recirculation system, valve, whatever, you may get uh, this error, the check engine light. If you have a lot of soot, a lot of deposit, uh, carbon buildup within the intake, EGR, whatever, especially if you have a diesel engine, you may get a check engine fault light. I think there are over 50 reasons why you can get a check engine fault light if something goes wrong. But I think these are the most important, the most common, and as I told you, as I promised earlier, the top five reasons from all of these are oxygen sensor, DPF, turbo, ignition coils, 
and poor fuel or leaving the gas cap loose or overfilling. So you have five plus most frequent reasons why you can get a check engine fault light and you can get one even if you buy a brand new car like I did. Let me know in the comment section what you think, what your thoughts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.